Uh, welcome back to the show. Now, before the break, I asked you a question. The name of the country that is home to the last remaining jungle in Europe. The answer, of course, is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yes, we are celebrating the rich in history, multicultural and multi-ethnic nation where East meets West. And to tell us more about the country's fascinating past, progressive present and bright future is the Prime Minister of Sarajevo, Canton, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Eden Forto. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining us here on the show this morning. Thank you for having me here. Very excited to have you. Now, the Bosnian Pavilion is at the Opportunity District here at Expo 2020. And your motto is, when you're working with your heart, you open and create new opportunities. How significant is Bosnia's representation here at Expo 2020? It's important for us because we are still trying to get into bigger markets. For us, recognition of international business community is key at the moment. And we want uh, markets, people, leaders from around the world to know that Bosnia is at the heart of the region and Europe and that they can access anything in Europe from Bosnia quite easily. You're also, I mean, you have so many responsibilities, not just the Prime Minister of the country and the nation uh, that is so progressive at the mo moment, but also taking on the role as the Commissioner General of the Pavilion here as well. Um, how important was Expo 2020 as a platform, not for just what you've spoken about there, but also to celebrate your country on a day like this, the National Day? where it's, it's, it's extremely important for us. Uh, we want to show the world that uh, we are a welcoming country. Yeah. And when, when you said the, uh, you, the word of, the, of our pavilion is heart, because our country is heart-shaped, but also we are known to be a very welcoming people. Yeah. We're also trying to break down some stereotypes about Bosnia and Herzegovina because of our recent uh, tumultuous past, uh, our transition, the also war torn and the peace building that w that came after it. It's very important for us to know, for everyone else to know that uh, they can come to Bosnia and feel really, mm. really great. Mm. Mm. Um, I want to know through your representation and participation here at Expo 2020, how much tourism do you hope to attract to your beautiful country? Mm. Well, we've had uh, we've had tourism growing at uh, especially where I come from, Sarajevo, Canton. Uh, which is the capital of the country. Uh, we've had growth of over 20% per year, and tourism is basically one of our uh, uh, fastest growing industries. Regardless of the, of the COVID situation, we are hoping that this will continue to grow. It is very important for us also, for the Gulf countries to know that it's really, uh, that they're welcomed at, uh, uh, in Bosnia. You know how we mentioned, Prime Minister, a few minutes ago about the, 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 the oldest natural jungle in Europe, etc. In terms of people coming down to the pavilion and those uh, preconceptions that people have of countries, etc. Mm. What do you want visitors, what's the biggest surprise, do you think, that visitors take away once they've walked out of the pavilion, having found out more about the country? Well, uh, Bosnia is... Uh is a country of, of uh, dif uh, differences, yeah. not only cultural differences, because this is where we have several religions, several ethnic groups living together, but also the scope of, of what you can see there. It's the mountains, the rivers, we have the sea, we have w the whole thing, the whole package in a, in a, in a little heart-shaped package. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's just something to see. And if you're not familiar with it, you could be surprised by, by the beauty. Mm -hmm. So that theme that we have running here, Connecting Minds, Creating the Future, mm -hmm. is, is perfect for what you're attempting to achieve at the moment. Yes, uh, one of the uh, big, fastest growing industries in Sarajevo and the rest of Bosnia is the uh, IT community yeah. is really uh, growing and uh, the markets are not in Bosnia, the markets are in the US, the UK, the EU. And, uh, but the companies are stationed there. So this is also something that we want to show that you can really live high quality life, mm -hmm. work for the biggest markets and stay in Bosnia. This is also one of the messages we're trying mm -hmm. to send. Prime Minister, we have about under 30 seconds. So very briefly, if you could tell us, what is the biggest takeaway when a visitor experiences the Bosnian pavilion? What would you say are some of, the, some of your best highlights that you absolutely shouldn't miss out oh, on? We just want you to 
to know where we are, yeah. and that it's easy <laughs> to get to us, and how beautiful it is. But uh, everything else comes with it. The business opportunities, the ideas, access to bigger markets, and in general, quality that we offer. It's mm -hmm. going to be a very busy day for you, Prime Minister. It's going to be a busy day uh, for uh, all those involved in the pavilion, and of course, uh, all the expatriates here uh, in the region. Thank you so much indeed for giving Thank us some you. of your time. I know it's a busy day. Thank um, you for having me. Thank you for that. And have a really, really happy National Day as well. Thank you.